In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called setting up a reaction table for a pH calculation with a common ion. All you're going to be doing in this problem is setting up this reaction table or ice table. You're not going to actually do any calculations. The problem is going to give you the initial concentrations of the sum of the reactants. So for example, we have 0.25 molar ammonia NH3. That's what we're going to put in this box right here, 0.25. And then also tells us that we have 0.38 molar ammonium bromide, NH4Br. Now you have to recognize that that NH4Br is going to dissociate into the ammonium NH4 plus cation and the bromide anion Br minus. And so that um, point 3,8 molar is going to correspond to the NH4 plus concentration. And initially we don't have any hydroxide at all in this solution. And now you are just simply going to fill in the rest of this ice table the way you normally would. So the change, which we don't know exactly what it is, we're going to represent that as minus x. And this change over here, we're going to call plus x and plus x. And then once we get to the end, we're going to go 0.25 minus x. Now, a lot of times when we're actually doing the calculations on these problems, we approximate that that x is small and negligible and we drop it off. But don't do that in this case because we're not actually doing a calculation. And the last thing that you should do before you click submit is just double check to make sure that what you have done here is consistent with what Alex is asking you to do. So it says here that I should be using X to stand for the unknown change in hydroxide. So I just wanna make sure um, that I'm using the correct symbol here uh, using X to represent for the, the change in hydroxide. If it wants something a little bit different than what you've actually entered in this box, just modify accordingly.